and talking about chasing wide receivers, man, for our listeners and our viewers that don't know a lot about Coach LeBeau, uh, you know, he before he became a big time pro in the NFL, he started off at Ohio State. Right. Uh, let's go back to 1957, Coach. You're playing both sides of the football field, right? You're on offense and defense, scoring two touchdowns for Ohio State to come back and beat Michigan. Right. We know what type of rivalry that is now. But fill us in on how that rivalry was back then when you were a Buckeye. It was it was a much larger thing. I don't know exactly uh, the two states abut each other, and I think it, it originated in a, a semi-border dispute or something of that nature. But uh, the the competition between Ohio and Michigan was even uh, much more extreme back then. Uh, you know the way that the game has become a, a more universal uh, procedure in, in news of football goes around uh, I think things uh, neighborhood spats if you will have diminished somewhat but they're still very very important uh in Texas Oklahoma you know you're not going to tell those people it don't matter anymore either but <laughs> uh, Ohio State and Michigan was uh, oh man it was it was sincerely genuine uh I think more so back in the, in the 50s uh, Whew, that's a hard number for me to say, but uh, we uh, we had a, a pretty uh, enthusiastic coach. His name was Woody Hayes. Uh, mm-hmm. he, he's somewhat well known even to this day. And Woody would continually come up with ways to keep Michigan in our mind. Uh, and for a couple of years, we had a big, huge mat uh, in front of our locker room when we every day that we came in off the practice field, particularly if it had been an inclement weather day, we would just ride in any stains of whatever we had on our shoes off on the Michigan mat, man, because that's what we <laughs> intended to do to them. It's the last game of the year. It's always been the last game of the year. Yep. And uh, one thing about great rivalries, the score, uh, the season record, the the that the two teams have compiled going into that game, you could throw that right out the window. I mean, it didn't matter whether one team had it really, sincerely, an undefeated record and the other one had hardly won, you know, a third of its games. That game was going to be a one touchdown, a one field goal game because everybody was playing with everything inside of them. Mm-hmm. And uh, we we managed to win. Well, this, to this day, it's still a, a tradition – if you beat Michigan, you get a pair of gold pants, a, a charm, and uh, I got, oh, really? got three of them. I got three of them to put on my mama's charm brace, bracelet. <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't know that was a thing when Ohio State beats Michigan. Yeah. I didn't. So are, was, are, are they oh, still doing it to this day? I, you know, that's a good question. I think they do, but maybe not. Okay, uh, it was it was an absolute objective a main objective of all the high state players was to get that uh, gold pass one story about uh, Ohio State Michigan uh, we also had uh, your senior year they had a uh, what they called a senior tackle and every senior on the squad the, the whole squad lined up and formed a, an a alley and uh, every senior got to come down and hit their Ray Crowther tackling machine one more time. This was uh, symbolic of their last tackle that they're ever going to make for a high state on a practice field. And we uh, made, we did it always the, the day, the Friday before the Saturday Ohio State football game. Well, you can imagine the guys got pretty cranked up for it. And uh, one, of, one of our starting linemen separated the shoulder hitting the machine. <laughs> because <laughs> he hit us so hard. So Woody quickly said, I see the end of the ceremonial uh, senior tackle. He said, from here on in, we're just going to walk down between the two guys and grab the tackle of the scene. <laughs> so we ended the senior tackle, but it was, it was uh, everything revolved around the Ohio State-Michigan day, uh, game in my day. It was always, I think, a bigger deal even yesterday than today uh, in that rivalry. Uh, as we uh, we have a song that we sing in Ohio, 
uh, we don't give a damn about the whole state of Michigan. <laughs> that's still very popular. Oh, man, that's great. That's one thing I love about college football. Some of the, the long lasting rivalries that have been started back, back in time and now still relevant to this day. And we know how intense that rivalry is currently still with Ohio State and Michigan. And you said you beat Michigan, what, three times, coach, you said? Uh, three out of the four. Yeah, three out of the four. That's a great that's a nice winning percentage, right? Yeah. Now. And uh, your freshman year, you weren't eligible to play because uh-huh. that was why we were playing single platoon ball. Then NCAA <laughs> had rules. The freshman couldn't play. So we yeah. probably would have won all four. <laughs> yeah. 